Hello, my name is Robert and I'm going to show you and explain how the new Mongo design software works. And let's open the program. At the beginning, basically we are getting a big picture, which can be a little bit disturbing because not much can be done here on the picture. Of course, what needs to be done is to choose how many anchors needs to be attached into the concrete floor for our case and let's just go for an instance for anchors and by choosing the anchor group nice 3d view is shown in the big screen this shows us basically how and where the values are and how it will be looking into the nature of course all the values can be changed and what are we basically seeing here it's the concrete floor which is of the thickness now 500 millimeters the metal plate which is attached directly on the floor on the concrete floor and of course four red dots that they are presenting the anchors that they are attached through the metal plate into the concrete member by clicking on the different numbers of course you are, can be able to upload the values the, the forces that they are working on the metal plate and of course changing the position of the anchors or of course also the geometry of the metal plate and let's go and see what also offer us the new design software so by clicking on the file we can then save this project and what's really nice we can also then upload this project so by uploading the project, if you did some really difficult calculations or really some sort of um, special design of the metal plate, you can then upload the, pro uh, the project. And if maybe also just the type of the anchor needs to be changed, of course, you can just upload the prog program and choose the different uh, type of the anchor. By choosing the profiles, you can basically choose the different profiles that they are attached on the metal plate. What offers us that, it's basically to see if the anchors are then on the way, if this type of the uh, profile is attached on this metal plate, and of course, if the profile, the chosen profile, it's too big maybe for this metal plate or also too small. The new design software also able us to take the calculation or do the calculation in the uh, earthquake zones. And of course, how we can do the calculation is just to press this green button. And of course, we can choose by the different categories from the category C1 or also in the category C2. Let's close this that for now plate editor it's basic offer us to choose or to change the geometry of the metal plate here you can basically choose the some sort of metal plate that you really have in the reality or some special design it's to be needs to be done or it this it was done for this certain case and of course, what also we can change in this window, it's to add anchor or basically remove anchor. So by clicking the remove anchor, you can also do remove some sort of anchors or basically also add anchors. And let's just cancel that for now. Project data, what's really nice from this window that of course you can add the project data that's really a nice thing if you're doing the calculation for the customer you can add the customer name and of course also to save the project by the certain name and base being able to find it later on design guide it's basically on which type of the calculation he's working from languages now it's possible to calculate and do the calculation in four different types of languages but more languages are coming up to help 
this is quite useful. It's just that the old help is empty now in English version, but also different languages are coming up to. So here it also, also offers us basically if you go to the concrete, how the different concretes are designed, uh, what kind of concrete we have, and basically he explained us how you can change the, some values into the program self. So I would say let's go and do one calculation so that I think that's quite much more useful and you can learn much more from that one. So how the calculation is works, as I said, you have to, or it needs to be done, some sort of loads and let's just put here, just pressing five, pushing enter or basically just pushing this green button. Of course, by adding this 5, it means that 5 kilonewtons is being applied on this metal plate. Also, the changes can be done in this certain area. Of course, all from the temperature, temperature from the kilonewtons of the moments and also been changing the concrete type. And just, I like to do the, of course, the changes in this position in the 3D view because you have like much more view. What are you basically doing? And let's just put here also a little bit more force. Let's say 15 kilonewtons. Press enter, and of course do the calculation. If you're just putting and pushing calculation, he's gonna calculate on all different size and uh, capabilities of the attaching or anchoring system that can provide or take over this centered load. This can be limited, of course, let's close this window, by anchor filter. Let's go by anchor filter, pressing this one. You can choose basically by the mechanical, chemical, and of course the normal steel or if you want, if the this position is on the outs, uh, on the basically um, on some sort of wet floor or whatever, you can choose also, of course, the stainless steel. Let's press OK, go on the calculation, and the calculation is done. Of course, it's a nice picture of what kind of anchor it is applied the name of the anchor and what is most important the green number the green number tell, tells us basically how much of the anchor we are basically using of course i'm always taking the number that is the closest to 100 percent of course by that one we are then using the most of the anchor so if you're just using like 26 percent then you're basically taking too big uh, anchoring system for this sort of uh, for this case but because this is just an example let's just go on the PDF file on the end calculation and how the calculation is done by entering before the of course the name of the company the reference code and stuff like that then the project data it's of course shown in this area the anchor name the article code and the approval on which one the calculation was made and let's go a little bit further down of course the same position or the 3d view is also then seen on the end calculation in pdf file and of course also the numbers that they were applied and changed during the calculation. Here it's basically seen how or, uh, or installation instructions needs to be done for the different size of the anchors, how big the thread diameter needs to be, outside diameter, drill hole diameter and all the information that needs to be taken for, of course, then on the construction side. What's also really important to know a little bit of these numbers, 
and of course this is the shear load and by the shear load on this certain case we are basically having 15 kilonewtons which they are walking in direction of stx and this certain anchor that we choose for it's basically taking this load and we are using from this anchor only six percent that's for the tension load tension pull out failure it's 12 percent and of course the tension concrete cone failure or basically concrete cone failure on the beta it's 17 percent Here it's also written, I'm going to show you this kind of uh, design or basically this kind of calculation later on. Still failure with lever arm and this one is was without lever arm. And the end of the calculation, it's also shown how much of the basically steel it's taking from and how much of the concrete it uh, the last basically can also provide or basically it's used from and of course the concrete we can see that it's 19 percent so it can take much more load than that one and of course also from the steel it's taken only seven percent for this certain case thank you and also welcome for the new design software in the next section